welcome to today's episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Three Mensifi West. If this is your first time on the channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place where we celebrate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstitions, and of course the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I am going to be talking about the difference between Quicksilver and uh, Collider Silver. These are two substances that uh, is often so mis interplaced or misused or confused in uh, the area of African spirituality. This is, uh, these are minerals that uh, we use. These are minerals or substances that uh, are very popular in African spirituality and uh, people use it a lot, especially in, in uh, Vudon or uh, practice or uh, Asian Vudon. They, they use uh, Quicksilver a lot. They also use Collider Siva. And uh, in uh, American Voodoo traditions, New Orleans, and uh, most parts of America, they make use of Collider Siva and Quicksilver. The thing is that a lot of people confuse Quicksilver and Collider Siva. And uh, this is a serious problem. If you don't know the difference, uh, it can result in uh, disastrous uh, results. The thing is that uh, Quicksilver is totally, totally different from Collider Siva. Quicksilver is mercury. It is simply the old name or ancient name for the chemical substance that we know as mercury. And as we know, mercury is uh, a metal. It is the only liquid metal that we have on the planet. It is a metal. It is ion. It is liquid ion. Ion in liquid form. Okay. So mercury is a heavy metal. It is magnetic and uh, it uh, is something that uh, is very poisonous to the body. Okay. Mercury does not dissolve. Although it can get into the air, it can get into the environment. It does not dissipate. It will keep flowing on the hands up sorry so mercury is not something that you can neutralize and then it will just dissipate and disappear it does not disappear okay mercury is a heavy metal and uh it is uh banded in most country because it's very poisonous it's very dangerous to the health if it gets into your blood it causes a lot of damages it can cause uh devious illness cancers serious medical uh effects to your body so mercury is something that uh, you really don't want to play with, especially in the area of uh, inhaling this substance. Mercury, you can touch it. If it gets into your body, it's a big problem. It should not get into your body. A lot of people uh, in African spirituality, there are some spells that they do where they say they ingest mercury into them for kind of protection, for, uh, for love, for prosperity. You can't ingest mercury. If you ingest mercury, it will poison you and uh, it will kill you with time. Okay? So this is uh, something that uh, you just do not want to think of ingesting into you. Okay? It is a poison on its own. And uh, it is a very dangerous element. Mercury can be found in nature. We call it maintain mercury. This is mercury that uh, we mix with other elements and somehow they have steeped into the sea. Due to there are many uses, we use it for manufacturing, especially in the area of gold mining, mining solid minerals. A lot of uh, mercury is used in the process of mining goods. So a lot of gold miners they end up with mercury poisoning, and uh, it leads to different kind of children that are born with uh, serious debilitating diseases that uh, are very gross to to look at. Mercury poisoning is a serious issue, so uh, it is not something you should take lightly. You can find mercury in sharks. This is the reason why people say that we should not eat sharks because uh, due to the mercury that has seeped into the ocean floor, a lot of sharks, as you know, they are bottom dwellers. They swim under the sea. They consume a lot of things they see under the sea and uh, they ingest this mercury into them. So mercury has been found inside the body of sharks. So they advise people don't eat sharks because their body contains mercury, cannot process it, so it stores them. Uh, they, they store the mercury inside them. So sharks contain mercury and if you eat sharks, you get this mercury into you. It's uh, very, very dangerous for your body. Now, in the area of African spirituality, and you can use it for protection as well. You can use the spell. for You can use mercury to do spells, very powerful spells, 
for protection, for cleansing, for prosperity, for dodging, for having a flexible nature to avoid problems. But uh, don't just get it into your system. Don't ingest it. That is what you need to know. You should not ingest it. It is a heavy matter. It's very, very poisonous. Now, there have been spells that people claim that they are ingested mercury. Some people claim that they ingest mercury from time to time. What they are actually ingesting is uh, Collider Siva. Now, a lot of people think that uh, Collider Siva is mercury because if you look at it, sometimes it shines like mercury. Some of them look because it's Siva that has been mixed with water, Siva nitrates. And Collider Siva is not toxic to the body, except that if you take too much, it is actually good. It kills bacteria, it helps to do a lot of healing in the body. It, uh, balances the chakra, it uh, clears the third eye, it heals the body, it has been used to treat so many illnesses in the time past. So Collider Siva is uh, safe to ingest. Okay, you can use it to treat humans, you use it to treat animals. In veterinary, they use it to treat cats, dogs and farm animals. It works a lot to kill bacteria. It has this powerful quality that it does not only kill the bacteria, it neutralizes the carcasses of the dead bacteria. It mends it so that the carcass of those dead bacteria do not go on harming healthy cells in the body. So Collider Siva is very powerful for this, for cleansing, for general internal external cleansing. It's very, very powerful. It is liquid Siva. Siva that are pure 100% Siva that have been mixed with water. Okay, this now becomes a, what they call hydro so This is the Collider Siva. You can ingest Collider Siva for health purposes, but you cannot ingest mercury. Okay, a lot of people that have been using Collider Siva, they think that it is mercury that they are ingesting. It is totally different thing. Okay, so you need to be clear on this. We have Collider Siva, which is liquid Siva. Then we have Quick Siva, which is simply mercury. It is 100% liquid matter. It's heavy metal you cannot ingest it if you take this stuff into you it's like a you have you have a way to call you you just want to commit a very slow and painful suicide it will not only affect you it will affect your unborn children people that have been poisoned with mercury when they have babies their babies are deformed especially in the brain they are always deformed so it's something that will not only damage your physical body it will damage your your bloodline your sperm cells you will damage your future, your babies in the future. It is it's very dangerous. So you should not play with mercury, please. Now there is this um, thing that we call the red mercury. Red mercury in uh, Africa is uh, something that we say a hoax. There is this um, scam that uh, is very popular in Nigeria and around the world. We call it a um, black money scam. This is a situation whereby some people will meet you. They will tell you that they have hundred of millions of dollars or uh, in an unmitted or darkened no they will show you some very black pieces of paper that uh, they are caught in money form they will tell you that these are money that just came from the mid federal reserve that uh, it is not completely processed that they are diplomats that uh, for you to process it into real money you need a chemical called red mercury this red mercury is very very elusive and uh, very very expensive in fact it is almost impossible to find it and uh, it's very expensive so they will tell you to get a small vial of red mercury for hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions so you run around looking to buy red mercury so that you can become a billionaire you will never find red mercury so this red mercury thing is uh, something that is elusive sometimes it's actually mercury that have been dyed red this red mercury have been used to scam a lot of people in the world today in africa they will tell you that it's a black money to wash your money into original currency you need red mercury in uh, europe they will tell you that it's something that you need to produce nuclear bombs or nuclear weapons people in a uh, arab country all of them want to buy red mercury if not to create uh, weapons of mass destruction they also want to use it to wash money but uh, in my humble opinion, uh, there's no such thing as red mercury. It is something that is very popular in Nigeria. People keep talking about how if you have one tiny drop of red mercury, you are a billionaire. You see these people, they take some uh, innocent people or victims, so what we call mugu, to a shrine. Then they bring this black money. 
they first of all get the people to swear oaths of allegiance to whatever terrible deity is there. Then they tell you that uh, you need to get red mercury for them to wash this money for you into real money. Then they scam the people. Okay, they simply just scam the people. Uh, you run around looking for money, borrowing money, taking loan to go and buy red mercury to wash this uh, this notes. Then after you get the so-called money, they we tell you that they have process some notes for you then they will lock it in a box tell you not to open it for at least one month by then that is enough time for them to disappear with the rest of your real money so um, red mercury is something that i will say does not exist it is just something that people made up to scam other people in african spirituality we still have this scam of red mercury that uh, if you can get money to buy red mercury you can be able to make uh, portions that we make you live forever we make you indestructible we make you so powerful and so wealthy but you need a lot of money to get red mercury then you see people looking to buy this red mercury so that they can become invisible and all powerful all knowing and uh, they can become gods or something like that so red mercury is a, a scam I have not seen any red mercury and I have heard so much about it and uh, it is just something that is impossible to get. You will never find it anywhere, okay? So if you see anybody telling you that you need to get some red mercury, that you can get it from hold TV, hold radio, uh, hold, hold pounds notes, don't just go chasing a goose tail. You will never get red mercury anywhere. The least you can get is mercury and nowadays they have restricted the sale of mercury a lot but uh, you can still get ordinary mercury you can get it in thermometers it is used for measuring air you can buy mercury thermometers it is there you can get it from barometers you can get it from science equipment but uh, i don't really know what you want to use it for what i will advocate using is a uh, collider siva collider siva is safe and uh, it does a lot of things for the body and uh, it's something that uh, you need for your spiritual practice for clean, spiritual cleansing, banishing and uh, for your own personal health benefit to purify and neutralize poisons that have been ingested by you or other people you need Collider Siva for solving this kind of problem something that is very good but uh, I don't advocate you getting mercury mercury is dangerous uh, except you know what you are doing mercury is not something you should go and get for any reason except you are working in a science project or something so for using mercury for rituals i uh, we not advocate it i don't think it's really really necessary okay due to the dangerous quality of mercury but some people use it uh, you find this in african spirituality everything is possible in african spirituality but you should just know that but what you need to know is that uh, mercury is a dangerous element is a heavy metal and it is highly toxic and poisonous the worst part is that uh, mercury you should not burn it if you want to die faster you inhale the smoke from burnt mercury it fries the brain instantly because it is metal so the fumes from burning mercury is very very dangerous if you breathe in that fumes instantly your brain your brain will melt instantly start working and maintain your brain so burning mercury is a totally no no zero thing hundred percent no go area okay don't ever think of burning up mercury don't ever even think of inhaling mercury don't even try that to bring it close to your nose don't even try it the fumes is very dangerous because it is metal okay it does not dissipate so it's something you don't want to smell okay don't it's something you don't want to get into your body at any rate you don't want it to get into your system okay so uh, this uh, should be as a warning and a advice and suggestion for people that are considering thinking of using mercury for anything it is a heavy metal highly toxic and highly poisonous okay so uh, this is the difference between mercury and collider siva Quicksilver is called mercury. So when you hear people talking about quicksilver, just know that they are talking about mercury. It has nothing to do with original silver. I don't even know why they called it quicksilver. Okay, it is mercury. Quicksilver is different from 
silver and it is different from collider silver okay so this is what i have for you today questions and comments are welcome as usual please like and share my videos subscribe to the channel if you are interested in learning more about african spirituality you can register at my website or www.riveroflknowledge you're going to learn a lot of things from this channel i will teach you how to practice african spirituality from any country you are in from the comfort of your home without fear of or favor or discrimination or gatekeeping you're going to learn this stuff and uh, you're going to progress and advance very very well and uh, if you want to read my book on quantum physics and african spirituality it is still here waiting for you it's an e-copy i will email it to you it's a very concise book uh, with a lot of scientific information to back the scientific originality and validity of african spirituality is a very good book i recommend it for beginners advanced people and uh, anybody that is interested in this subject then uh, also too if you want to do your spell work your love spell your packs your exes open doors breakups the old nine yards my number is on the screen you want to consult to do your oracle and tarot reading you can also contact me as well so with that being said i thank you very much for watching this video i wish you a wonderful day and i'll be seeing you in the next video as usual so take care and bye peace